Welcome back today. A judge heard arguments about why the trial for a former Spokane police officer charged with rape should be held in another city. Yeah, the case against Gordon Ennis was set to go to trial in June, but a judge declared a mistrial after learning that most of the potential jurors already knew about the case. Both sides filed a joint motion to move the trial out of the area. Crime 2's Lindsay Nadrich was the only reporter in the courtroom and joins us now with more on this. Lindsay? Former Spokane Police Sergeant Gordon Ennis was back before a judge today to discuss whether or not his trial should be moved out of the area. A mistrial was declared in June because they didn't think they could ensure a fair trial. So today, Judge Triplett weighed several issues about what it would take to move the trial or keep it here in Spokane. Can I improve our chances of having a jury that has no knowledge of the case, uh, no preconceived notions, no bad experiences with law enforcement, no bad experiences with similar type charges anywhere, and I'm not sure we can. Both the defense and prosecution filed the motion to move the case because of what happened during jury selection in June that led to the mistrial. After discussing the issue in court this afternoon, Judge Triplett is still deciding but brought up many factors like the cost of moving the trial out of Spokane, the size of the area the jury would be pulled from, and what could be done differently during jury selection to keep the case here. He also discussed issues that will be a problem no matter where the case is heard, such as prejudice against law enforcement, potential jurors may have, the number of people personally impacted by similar charges and media coverage of the case. If the trial were moved out of the area, another judge would have to take the case, but both sides agreed they do want Judge Triplett to preside, so it may stay here. No decision has been made, but Judge Triplett said he is leaning toward trying to get a jury one more time here in Spokane. I'm going to deny without prejudice and try one more time by making adjustments here. As I've outlined, and I'll entertain any other reasonable requests to see if we can get a jury from this area. So another hearing date has been set for October. In the meantime, Judge Triplett said he would review more media coverage of the case. He also said he's going to take input on how to ensure a fair trial here. Then at that time, at that hearing in October, he'll make a decision whether or not to move the trial. Reporting live tonight, I'm Lindsay Nadrich, Crem2 News.